Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, let me first start by saying that I fully support um, Dr. Davis's amendment. Um, the fact uh, of the matter is that over a thousand adoptions occur every year in the state of Alabama, and um, most of the families receive this tax credit. And so many of those families uh, have called, flooded our office, I should say, for the last day or so. I wanted to read for the record um, some of the uh, comments that some of my constituents have made. And before I do that, I want to again uh, thank you, um, Mr. Chairman. I think no one knows more the importance of adoption than yourself. I, I am quite moved by your own personal story, and I can tell you that I have uh, lots of, co uh, of constituents that have similar wonderful um, stories about uh, their ability to adopt. In fact, one is Erica, and Erica Wright actually called my office today and said, as an adoptive mother and as your constituent, I am asking you, no begging you, to please save the adoption tax credit. My husband and I run a nonprofit and a small business for a living, and yet our adoption cost us more than $40,000. We brought home our beautiful four-year-old daughter this year, and she is the most precious child, but there are millions, millions of little boys and girls just like her who desperately need a loving family. Put simply, if the adoption tax credit uh, could become fully refundable again, it would mean that our family would be able to adopt another child. Um, she's joined by Greg, uh, also a, a constituent of mine, who says, I am asking that you oppose the elimination of the adoption tax credit and speak with your congressional leaders and colleagues and urge them to, pres to preserve and strengthen the, the adoption tax credit in the tax form legislation. Likewise, Elizabeth says, in addition to saving the adoption tax credit, I am begging the Congress that you demonstrate its commitment to children and families by making the adoption tax credit fully refundable. The, ado the adoption tax credit has helped tens of thousands of parents uh, afford adoption, making it possible for them to provide children with loving and permanent families. Without the adoption tax credit, many families will face a financial burden that, they may, that may make adoption impossible. Please, please, please keep the adoption tax credit. Lastly, Rebecca. Rebecca says, we currently adopted a special needs child through DHR. Without this tax subsidy, I wonder how many more families will be unable to overcome the cost to take more special needs children into their homes. I, I, uh, I just want to say, Mr. Chairman, that I know you know that the, the, uh, the importance of adoption, and, um, and I think that this is definitely a bipartisan issue, and I, too, want to join uh, Dr. Davis uh, in helping you and others um, on this issue because it's so personal to me as well as to uh, many in my district. The adoption tax credit has helped tens of thousands of parents afford adoption and make it possible for them to provide loving homes, permanent families for these children. Um, I want to also say that while uh, the expansion of the child tax credit under this bill, as well as the family um, credit of $300, um, is important, it is insufficient to actually cover the cost of child care. Uh, in fact, the family, uh, the family uh, tax credit actually expires after 2023 and will no longer be there. Uh, and so I think it's important that we not only extend the adoption tax credit, but we make it fully refundable. I stand with Dr. Davis on this amendment and ask that my colleagues also uh, vote in favor of the amendment. Thank you.